Okay, so we're trying to solve this uh, particular equation for capital R. And what you want to realize is that this is just a quadratic equation. It, it looks a little crazy, a little more complicated than what we usually see. But we're solving the capital R. There's a capital R here, and there's a capital R in this set of parentheses. But when you square that, you're going to get an R squared, a capital R squared. So this is a quadratic um, a quadratic equation in terms of R. So what you want to do is you want to rewrite this so you've got, you know, in the standard form, A instead of X squared is going to be R squared plus B R plus C equals zero. Because if you do that, you'll be able to use a quadratic formula. Okay, so the A, B, and C, though, aren't going to be numbers. They're going to be algebraic expressions. There's going to be variables in there for this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by R plus R quantity squared. So I'm going to say R plus capital R quantity squared times P equals... Um, R plus capital R quantity squared times E squared capital R all, all over the quantity R plus R, right, that quantity squared. Now the whole reason we wanted to do that is because this R plus R squared would cancel with this R plus R squared on the right side. So that leaves us with R plus plus capital R quantity squared P equals E squared capital R. Now foil out this left side. Now make sure you don't mix up the lowercase r and the capital R. They're, they represent two different quantities in this. So when we foil this out, we're going to end up with lowercase r squared plus two lowercase r um, capital R plus capital R squared. Right? That's the R plus R squared. That's still being multiplied by P and it still equals E squared R. On the left side I'm going to distribute. So we're going to end up with P R squared, lowercase r squared, uh, plus 2 P lowercase r capital R, uh, plus P capital R squared um, equals E squared R. So we're trying to solve for R. So I'm going to get everything set it equal to zero because you want to think of this as a quadratic equation. So I'm going to subtract an e squared r from both sides. So we've got p lowercase r squared plus 2 p r capital R plus p capital R squared minus e squared r equals zero. Now remember, we're thinking about this as a quadratic in terms of capital R. So we want the capital R, we want this term, the only term with capital R squared in it, to be our leading term. So I'm going to rewrite this as P capital R squared, okay, plus the next term we want is the capital R terms. And so we've got two places where we've got capital R terms. We've got the plus 2P lowercase r capital R. So I want that 2P lowercase r capital R. Uh, but we also have minus E squared R. So I'm going to say minus E squared capital R. Right? So those 
two terms have uh, capital R in it. And then the last term here is the plus P lowercase r squared. Right, and that's equal to zero. So for our middle term here, I, I just want the r. So I'm going to factor out an r from that. So I'm still, I'll leave the color code in here. So we get still have p capital R squared plus now, in this case, when you factor an r out of this, you're going to be left with 2p lowercase r minus e squared in parentheses times r, and then plus uh, p lowercase r squared, right, that's equal to zero. So we have it in that form, you know, that ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero quadratic form. So we can use the quadratic formula. So basically, if you look at this, this is your a. This whole expression here that's multiplying the r, that's your b. And then the constant is this entire term. So this entire term is your c. So here's a. Here's B, here's C. So the rest of it is just applying the quadratic formula, um, where, you know, for A is capital P, the B is this entire expression, and the C is this t entire expression. But you're just plugging that into the, into the quadratic formula, and I think you can take things from here.